Angela Oliver has been a school counselor for three years and in the profession for a decade. She tells me she's had to adjust more than ever during the pandemic. Honestly, it has been somewhat overwhelming to not only manage your own feelings, but um, be there to support others. She says she's noticing students are struggling with being away from classrooms. Yes, we can see th them through Zoom, but it's nothing like being able to give that fist bump, that high five, the hey, congratulations. And this is something Michelle McNear and Dr. Christy Hernandez with More Public Schools are noticing too. Both are licensed counselors and in their district who counselors report to. We lean on them to do a lot. Um, of things. Dr. Hernandez tells me many students are having a tough time dealing with isolation and being away from friends. If you're to go out and interview kids, the, the thread that you will continue to see through that fabric is anxiety, anxiety and depression. McNear says students are also struggling with what happens at home. And so for parents that have um, dealt with economic problems, you know, jobs and things like that, you know, our kids know that's going on. So they're worried about that. They're worried about their parents. They're worried about um, death like they've never worried about before. This week, State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister presenting the next fiscal year budget request. In it was over $18 million to hire more counselors in Oklahoma to support students enduring trauma during the pandemic. So I think any funding that we can get to put those resources in the, in the school and in the classrooms is huge. Um, and not just the band-aid. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.